Hello and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, we're gonna learn a lot about Weld Aid products and helping us out from CRC Industries is Dave Dernberger. Dave, welcome, man. How you doing? Thanks for having me. Hey, Dave, tell me a little bit about Weld Aid products. Well, since 1958, Weld Aid has been manufacturing products that in increase the productivity and quality of the MIG welding process. But how do you guys actually enhance MIG welding? What does Weld Aid do? Weld Aid has products that reduce costs by helping with the three biggest causes of downtime for welders. Problems with the nozzle, mm -hmm. problems with the wire feeding, and post-weld grinding and cleanup. All right, um, let's start with the nozzle first of all. Okay, what kind of problems would a welder have with their nozzle? Tom, if a welder's nozzle is full of spatter, the shielding gas can get blocked, leading to porosity and bad welds. That, re that really happens? Yeah, really ah, does. Oh, well, what do you do about that? What, what, what can we do? Well, for that, we have the nozzle cleaning tool. Okay. Right. And what you do with that is you'll insert it with the nozzle, spin it, and it will scrape the spatter off. Not until we put our PPE on, I won't do that. And the, you should do the same thing too. Don't start any job until you got the proper PPE. You got your glasses on, we're good to go. Mm -hmm. Remember, safety is always priority number one. So I'm just gonna insert this yep. and spin it. Exactly. And that's gonna clean out everything right so there. So you're cleaning the nozzle and the tip at right. the same time without scoring or scratching either of them. Okay, but you know what? I've got a different machine than this. My nozzle's a different size. Can WeldAid help me? Absolutely. WeldAid makes five different nozzle cleaning tools that cover the majority of the popular tip and nozzle combinations in use. But what we really wanna do is we wanna prevent the spatter from sticking in the first place. Uh, sounds like a good idea. An ounce of prevention, as they say. Exactly. <laughs> and for that, uh -huh. we have our popular nozzle clean line, including the best-selling nozzle clean number two. Right. You just spray it on the tip of the nozzle and it forms a coating for, to prevent the spatter from sticking. This is twice as good as number one? <laughs> Sorry, I had to go there. Yeah. And you just, and then you're good to go. And, and just spray it on. It puts a coat over it, and this spatter will kind of like what, just fall off or yeah. not? Yeah, really? or it's real easy to brush off at that point. Wow, that seems easy enough, man. You yeah. did it again. Thanks. But a lot of welders like to do is they like to use a nozzle dip to prevent right. the spatter from sticking. And this okay. is the type of nozzle dip they typically use. Okay, wait, now these are two different ones here. Two different completely. Go ahead, right. stick your finger in this one. Okay. What, what that actually is is petroleum jelly. And what yeah. will happens is, is that will melt and that will migrate down the torch and it will gum up the works. Okay. Now, All right. this is the Weldade product, which is completely different. Go ahead, stick your finger in that one. It looks different. It shakes. It's like jello. It's water based and it is. environmentally friendly. And you see, oh my gosh. it's a nice thin film, Look won't that. migrate down the torch, won't gum up the works. That's nice and thin, you can feel that, and it's just like, that, that is a big difference right there. All right, what else can WeldAid help with, Dave? Tom, another huge problem that welders contend with is inconsistent wire feeding. If the wire doesn't feed smoothly and evenly, it can cause inconsistent welds or bad welds or, worst of all, a burn back. You know, burn back doesn't sound good at all, so how do you guys help with that? Well, over 40 years ago, WeldAid invented the Lubematic system, consisting of two pads, a pad that will lubricate the wire and a pad that will clean the wire. And okay. you just install them on the wire right here. Go ahead, grab right. the black one. Take the clip off, all right. find the slit. The black one goes first there. So you take the clip, put it over the slit, right. just like that. Wire travels in this direction, travels through the red one, gets cleaned, then it travels through the black one, which adds just a touch of lubricant to help the wire get through the tip and the liner, increasing tip and liner life by up to 300%. Go ahead, slide it yeah, back and forth. I wanted to see what that... You feel the resistance. Oh yeah, this is almost, like a, almost like a sandpaper that kind of you know cleans it and then lubricate. Oh, that's, that's amazing the way you guys do it. I mean, it really just, I, I can see how that would be a great benefit. Absolutely. We've got our nozzle cleaned. It's free of spatter, but you know, we have our wire feeding great, but what if I get that spatter all over the part that I'm welding? What do we do then? Well, Tommy, you bring up a great point. A lot of expensive time is wasted when the welder has to scrape or grind off all that spatter that's stuck to his part. To prevent all that wasted labor and to also save on the cost of grinding wheels, WeldAid has the WeldClean line of anti-spatters, including our most popular water-based WeldClean 350, which is very environmentally friendly. It's available in quarts, gallons, five gallons, and 55 gallon drums. I would need the 55 gallon drum. <laughs> I need a lot of spatter <laughs> prevention. That is a lot. Absolutely. When welders utilize the complete line of WeldAid engineered products, they will be more productive, have better welds, and best of all, 
lower their costs. Yeah, that's the trifecta of savings right there. Dave, thank you so much. Great products from Weldade. We Thanks appreciate it. Thanks for having it. me, Tom. Love it. That's good stuff right there from Weldade. That was Dave Dernberger with CRC Industries. If you have any questions, call Motion Industries. I promise you they'll be able to help you out. As you saw Dave, he had on his PPE. I had mine on. You should have yours on. Whatever the job calls for, make sure that you're safe. That's priority number one. Number two, head to mihowto.com. That's where you'll find a lot of great info with demonstrations like this and information. And me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching today.